In this video, we're going to demonstrate the use of SnapMaker Original CNC function by carving a personalized lid. It will cover the whole process of CNC carver usage, including generate G-code, fix material, attach CNC bit, determine carving area, transfer G-code to machine, and start carving. First, you need to download the software from our website and install it. Then, make sure both the CNC module and the carving platform are properly assembled and all the cables are correctly connected. Please prepare the items and tools as illustrated. Open the software and you need to select your machine model first. Next, enter CNC G-Code Generator. Flat end mills typically used for slotting or cutting materials into flat surface. Carving V-Bit is great for carving detailed designs, especially in relief and curved materials. In this case, we will use an image for carving and we select the carving V-Bit. Select relief mode to upload the image. You can upload multiple files from different modes and carve them in just one G-code. When setting the size of the carved image, make sure it is smaller than the sizes of both the material and the carving platform. Based on the measured material thickness, set the target depth as needed. And based on the material properties, set the step down as needed. Auto preview is enabled by default. The software will automatically generate the image preview based on the current parameters. If auto preview is disabled, you need to manually click preview. After you have finished configuring the other parameters as needed, click Generate G-Code. You can use a pencil to mark the midpoint of the material, which is applicable to setting work origin later. Also, according to the size previously set in the G-Code, you can mark the estimated carving area of the material. Place the material, then attach the fixtures outside the marked carving area. Make sure the fixtures will not collide with any parts of the machine. If you need to cut through the material, a spoil board must be put under the material to avoid damaging the CNC bit and the carving platform. Use the provided 1.5 mm hex key wrench to loosen the screw on the shank of the CNC module. Insert the CNC bit onto the shank, then use the wrench to completely tighten the screw. Remove the CNC bit guard Now, turn on the machine. Before you turn on the CNC module, make sure you and any viewers have put on your CNC safety goggles. Select Controls on the touchscreen. Turn on the CNC module to make sure the spindle works properly. Then, turn off the CNC module. Connect your computer to the machine using the provided USB cable. Then, enter workspace in the software. Refresh the serial port list in the connection section. Click the drop-down button and select the serial port of the machine. Then click Open. Enter CNC G-Code Generator, then click Load G-Code to Workspace. Find out where the carving will be by setting the work origin. The work origin corresponds to the 00, zero coordinate origin in the software. In this case, the center of the image corresponds to the coordinate origin in the software. So, we move the CNC bit above the center of the material. Adjust the distance between the CNC bit and the material to about 5 millimeters. Then, place the calibration card or a piece of A4 paper between the CNC bit and the material. Keep adjusting the height of the CNC bit until there is slight resistance when you pull out the calibration card. It should be wrinkled when you push it forward. Click Set Work Origin. Lift the CNC bit above the fixtures, then click Run Boundary to check if the work origin is proper. If not, reset the work origin and run boundary again. You can lower the CNC bit to run boundary again at different heights. Now, you can use the USB cable or the USB flash drive to transfer the G-code to machine and start carving. If you prefer online carving, you just need to click the Run button in the software. You can adjust work speed during the carving progress. 
If you prefer offline carving, please disconnect to the serial port and unplug the USB cable. Enter CNC G-code generator, then click Export G-code to file. The extension of the exported G-code file is .cnc. Save it to the USB flash drive. Insert the USB flash drive into the controller of the machine. Tap Files on the touchscreen. Select the G-code file and tap Start to start carving. When the carving process completes, tap Controls, Jog Mode on the touchscreen. Move the CNC module and the carving platform to a proper position. Remove the fixtures and clean the dust. Then you can remove the finished work. Thank you for watching.